I've always been very conscious of like doing the music that I want to do. Doing the music that I want to hear on, I would want to hear on the radio, right? And I wish that my journey was as simple as that. I wish it was as simple as just going online and just doing a video. And then instead of just having people leave a comment saying, I didn't like that or I did like that. I get loads and loads of men saying, oh, look at her tits. Oh, like, you know, oh, I would do that to her like this. And then, you know, the fact that they do it publicly, because I remember about 2017 time, those kind of comments would have been sent through a DM. They would have been private. But now these kind of men are doing it out in the open. The, the sense of entitlement is now audacious. It's kind of strange. And then when people try and minimise the effect it has on you by saying, yeah, but look at all these good comments. It's like, why should, why should I ignore those horrible, entitled, audacious, sexually lascivious, sexual, sexually gratuitous messages? Can you imagine? I just, every time it happens, I always think about the little girls I taught over the years some of which want to go on to be singers and they are tiny I've known some of them since they were like two and lots of them want to go on to be singers and I think about them receiving those kind of messages and my heart breaks for them my heart breaks for these little girls that they're going to be subjected to this their entire lives and that's why I talk about it and, you know, I, I hear from so many, I used to hear in the past when I used to talk to a lot of musicians who were women, the things that they got sent in their DMs were like absolutely vile. Like some of them like way worse than mine. Um, <clears throat> and I used to say to them, screenshot it, post it and tell your fans this is not on. You know, this is not on. And they were always frightened of doing it because in the back of, because in the back of our minds as women, especially if you're doing a job where, the public, in a, in a way, kind of, you know, help you do your talent by investing in you, where it's uh, monetarily investing by going to gigs or buying your music. Women are terrified of annoying or upsetting men who are the predominant audience. audience. And when you think about it, they're, they're frightened of upsetting men who are happy to treat them like a sex object and something to service on. Feel that for a second. So instead of women, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, not very well, instead of women just doing what they love doing with the passion that they've always had for it, they also feel they have to change who they are in order to accommodate for men who insist on treating them like a terrible, terrible piece of meat. And that's not how, and I... I cannot make music, personally, I cannot make music. I cannot express myself authentically and honestly and tolerate that from people. Part of calling it forward and posting about it and talking about it, it fuels me to keep going because I am honouring the younger version of me, the very young child version of me that didn't have anyone standing up for her when it was going on. Not only that, but I used to teach a lot more students and <clears throat> a lot of them wanted to be singers, especially the girls. And some, like a lot of the boys wanted to be um, singers and performers too. And if I were to tolerate that, if I were to pretend it wasn't happening, if I were to pander to certain men who think it's absolutely okay to sexualize me, objectify me and send me terrible stuff, either publicly or privately, I am telling every single child that looks at me and admires what I do, I'm telling them that they have to tolerate it too, that they have to swallow the bitterness of being treated so badly and pay a price if they actually want to do what they love. And I don't believe that. No one should have to suffer that. And that's why I call it forward. No girl, no young woman in music should do the thing that may, brings them a lot of 
joy and brings them a lot of peace. And also be told to tolerate and accept terrible behaviour, terrible things from so many men and that they have to put up with it. I was taught for 10 years almost that if I wanted to do music, I would have to work with men that touched me up inappropriately. I would have to work with men that dangled carrots in front of me and whipped them out of me as a joke. I would have to deal with quote unquote assholes. That that is what the world is and I have to play it their way. And as I did that, they could take as many punches at me as possible and I would have to just take it, smile and take it because that's the price you pay for wanting to do the thing that you love. And you know why I started talking about this stuff way back in 2016, probably back in 2015, because I realised that it wasn't enough for me to just get tons and tons and tons of likes and followers. What I wanted was an audience that I curated that was on the same level as me. Quote, like, basically, they respected themselves and they respected me just as I respected them. That it wasn't a, that it wasn't just people wanting to be in the cheap seats and do what they want and say what they want and completely disregard me. I wanted an audience that followed me on my journey and were in, as invested in me as I was invested as the music I wished to present to them. And as a result, I have some incredible fans and I now have friends as a result of it, really good friends. I'm very fortunate that I stuck to my guns on that one for eight years now. So while I'm on the subject, I want to thank everyone who has been a fan of mine from the very beginning. For those who have understood or at least been open minded to how I present myself on social media, because I was doing this long before mental health was a trend to talk about. And at the beginning, I was totally demonized for it and vilified. And for those that understood or at least stayed curious, I can't thank you enough for seeing me. It, may, it makes me feel seen and validated for having chosen to live my life in this way. I really appreciate it. It makes me feel very happy that there are fans that have known me for years that I still chat to in my DMs and still check in on me. And I check back in. I'm very fortunate. Thank you very much.